I'm out marking timber. And what I'm marking is not to take trees, I'm marking leave trees. What we're going to try to do here, as you can see, there is a lot of blueberry in this stand, some red maple, birch seedlings on the ground. And this stand has been beat up by logging, gypsy moth infestation, killed a lot of trees. And it's not very good soil growing site anyway, so you need to thin the oaks down if you want them to grow and you want them to reproduce. There's not quite enough sunlight in the summertime to make oak trees grow, so we're going to thin this out with a pulp wood harvest. We're going to take out, like if you look at what we're doing here, uh, the blue trees stay, everything else is going to go. So. And then we're probably going to burn this. You know, if we can make it happen, we're going to send a fire through here and reduce the blueberry and the oak leaves on the ground. And then if we're lucky enough to have a good acorn crop, then we'll have millions of oak trees here. But <clears throat> for now, we're marking it. We'll start cutting it this winter. Um, if you look at what I'm doing, here's an oak tree. There's a chestnut oak. There's another white oak. There's a pitch pine over there. Pitch pine will grow here and it, it could be a really good cover tree. It's good to have around. It's a, a very fire friendly species as is oak. So what I'll do is I'm gonna mark this, this white oak here to stay. And then we'll take that white oak since the crowns are touching I'm going to keep this chestnut oak. I like chestnut oak for deer hunting properties because it's more of a reliable acorn crop than any other oak tree. So what we want to do is achieve um, a lower basal area, so to thin it down to where it'll reproduce oak trees, we'll have enough sunlight in so they'll grow. The residual trees that grow faster. It's actually a pretty nice tree here. It's an 18 inch tree. So a logger would generally come in here and, and say, oh, let's let's take these. And there's some 16 inch average overstory in here. If you keep high grading like that again and again then you reduce your quality more and more and more until you really have no quality left. So you never want to do that. 